Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to do this Lumigurumi monkey design. This is actually a collab with Busy Bee Crafting Corner. She has made a banana to go with this monkey and I'm very excited to show you how to make this. So, this is my original design. This is a monkey like pencil hugger or like gripper and you can even put this on like your own finger and I think it's just a really cute thing that you can add to like even a rainbow loom hook but it's kind of heavy um you could just put this on like what I have it on right now is a chopstick and I could just put it on it and I have it on my desk in my pencil jar as like decor um but I think this is just a, such an adorable pattern and I think you guys are really gonna like it So, like I said, this is a collab. I will have Busy Bee Crafting Corner's channel in the description below. And you can go and see all the tutorials and videos she has on her channel. But, let's get into what we're going to be needing for this beautiful, cute little monkey <laughs> that I designed. So, um, I have a hook, obviously, because we're going to be doing some looming. So you're gonna need a rainbow loom hook or a just crochet hook that's around the same size. I don't exactly know what size this is, but probably like a two millimeter hook. If you're gonna be doing crochet hook. Um, the rainbow loom always works best in my opinion. I also have just stitch marker. I just use a paper clip and I just kind of like stretch out one of the sides a little bit, but you don't have to. You can use a stitch marker or a C clip or S clip, whatever you prefer. You're gonna need some stuffing. Honestly, you don't know you don't need too much because all I really stuffed was the head. So a little bit of stuffing, probably not this much, probably like maybe less than that even, but not too much stuffing. And band count, uh, that will be in the description below. I don't exactly have that off the top of my head right now, but you're gonna need some kind of white bands or you can just use whatever color you want. And I'm gonna be using blue for the main body in this tutorial. I just used white bands for the face of the monkey and the inner ears. Um, so you can do whatever you want for color choices. This is just what I did. Um, and like always, you can switch up the colors to whatever you want. All right, so then I do have the pattern I wrote right here. So I will probably help, I'm gonna keep this out during the entire tutorial. So you guys can screenshot this. This will also be in the description below if you want to go and just have the description there and screenshot it. But you can also just screenshot it right now. And let's get started. So as you can tell, the first thing we're gonna be making are the legs and arms. We're gonna make four total and they're all made the exact same way. So this is perfectly easy for anyone to do. So I'm just gonna start off with my main color. Sorry for the crinkling, crinkling. And I haven't put the band count quite yet like on this paper, but it will be in the description like I said. So I don't exactly know how many at the moment, but I will be editing it up and by the time this video is posted, I will have everything ready for you guys. But let's start off with the arms and the legs. So we're gonna start off with a magic ring of four stitches. And also I'm gonna be only making one of these on camera and the rest off camera, just so that you guys can always pause the video and do this by yourself. I feel like sometimes it's not even necessary for me to be talking about what I'm doing because I'm just repeating the same thing over and over again. But. So once you have four stitches, I'll just show you how many. One, two, three, four. So you, the one that around your hook always counts. You're gonna put your stitch marker on around that one. And then you're gonna go into the first stitch and for the next row or this row that we're doing we're gonna be doing a single crochet and then an increase so just a single crochet into the next stitch and now we're gonna do two single crochets into this stitch so one back in two that was an increase now we're gonna repeat that single crochet increase pattern so single crochet into the next stitch and go to the next stitch and do an increase so two single crochets one single crochet back in two 
Now we can move this stitch marker up to the band around our hook, and you should have six stitches. I'm not really counting my stitches though. It doesn't really matter for me, in my opinion, but for those who like to know how many stitches are around each row. Now we're just going to do single crochet around for five rounds total. So you're just going to do a round of single crochets. I'm going to do one row on camera and the rest of the four rows off camera. Or the rest of the five rows off camera. Alright? And just single crochet into every stitch around until you get back to the stitch marker. Okay, so I'm going to move my stitch marker up. I'm going to go ahead and do four more rows off camera and then I'll come back when I have the total of five single rows of five rows of single crochet and then I'm just going to tell you guys to go ahead and make three more. You can just rewind the video or you can look at the pattern and just repeat what you did. So I'm going to go off camera, finish this um, arm or leg or whatever and yeah. All right so I finished the leg and I actually went ahead and made three more of them off camera while I was at it. You might hear a little bit of background noise because I'm just finishing up my last class of the day and I actually already finished the assignment for it so I don't really have to do much but I finished the four legs and or arms whatever you get to call them. I'm just gonna call them legs because it's too hard to call them legs and arms I guess. <laughs> Not really but anyway so you can just go ahead and repeat that same thing for the four legs and then come back when you're done. So then we're going to make the ears. I'm just gonna make some of the smaller things that we have to end up attaching later in the process, just so that we can have those out of the way and then we can start like making the bigger parts, I guess. But so for the ears, you're gonna need to take just a few white bands. You're not gonna need more than that. And honestly for this, I'm just using this kind of like clearish glow in the dark white that I have because I accidentally didn't order white. <laughs> Great for me. But if you look at this, it says we need a magic ring of five stitches for the white part. And I actually didn't put that in the description. I did not write like change colors or whatever. So you kind of just kind of know that. So go ahead and make a magic ring of five stitches. And you're also, you're going to have to make two of these, so just know that. Because obviously they're ears, so you need two ears, otherwise it's just going to look weird, but. Four, back in. Five, alright, so. One, two, three, four, five. Also, sorry, I had a new, I got a new table, so. This is my new background for the rest of my videos forever. Um, now my dog's barking. But this is the new background for the rest of my videos forever. And I'm actually really loving it because you can see everything so much better than my old table. Um, like It's not really like a table. It's more like a desk because I use this all the time. But I'm very happy that I got a new desk because now I can film really good tutorials. And I feel like... As I'm just doing YouTube, I feel like I'm getting better every single video I make. So, yeah, that's great. Okay, so, once you finish that, it looks kind of like... Oh, wait. F dang, I, f I kept talking and I forgot to tell you what to do for that row. So, for that row, you just switched your colors. You didn't really have to do a color change or whatever. But you just went around in that row doing a row of single crochets. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you that. I'm just gonna actually, I'm gonna stay on camera and show you how to do the next one, but uh, do that row of single crochets around. You should just have five stitches still, and then you're gonna go into that first stitch that we made with the blue, and just pull through that everything, and just like that, this is how we're gonna attach the ear to our head later, so I'm just gonna put this on the chopstick for now, because I don't really have anything to put this on, but if you also... You can just put all your legs and everything that you have to make and attach later. You can all put those on the chopstick or like a pen or something. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make one more ear because I completely forgot that I was even like showing you how to do it. Because I was just talking and mumbling to myself. So sorry. So <laughs> second ear, second time the charm. So go ahead and make a magic ring of five stitches. So it's one. Okay. Two, three, back in, 
four, and five, okay? Now, we don't really need a magic ring or whatever, so um, you're just going to go into the next stitch, and do a single crochet with your new color, and then you're just going to go around and single crochet until you get back to that first stitch. All right, so that's what it should look like. Now you're gonna go into that next stitch with a blue band and just pull through everything on your hook, just like this, like I showed you a second ago. And now I'm just gonna put this back on, I'm just gonna, I didn't, okay. You're just gonna put it on the chopstick and then save these little ears for when we're ready to attach them to the head later. All right, so these legs are just gonna be there. I hope that doesn't distract anyone, but now we're gonna be working on the body. So now you're actually gonna take your two legs. Oh my God, I'm so sorry about my dog and she's just squeaking her toy so loud. Hold on, let me see if I can like close my door or something. All right, so I have no idea if you still can hear that or not, but for the legs, you're just gonna take two of them and put them on your hook just like this. So both, you should have two bands on your hook, one from each leg. Then we're gonna go into this leg and just go into that first, the stitch that's right next to that band from the leg on the round your hook. I hope that makes sense. And then you're gonna go into a stitch that's also right next to that stitch right there. And I know it might look weird, but you should have like two stitches from the legs on your hook and also just two bands. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Then you're going to take one band. Sorry, I have two on my, my finger. But you're going to take one band and pull it through everything that you just put on your hook. Reclaim and then pull through and make a stitch. All right, so that's kind of how you're going to attach them. So now I'm going to just put a stitch marker on that band. And we're just going to single crochet all the way around. And I'm just going to do it on camera so that it kind of makes sense for the first time that we're doing it. So just single crochet and then... Yeah, so just kind of like look at what I'm doing, but just single crochet around. And just turn it as you go. And it might get a little confusing. If you add a couple stitches, it's okay. But now, so to attach these legs even better, once you get around, you're gonna go into this stitch right here. And then you're gonna go into like this little thing right here. I know that doesn't look like a stitch, but you're gonna go into it anyway. And you're to pull a band through that and just make a stitch, all right? Then you're to keep going into the next stitch and keep just doing single crochets until you get back to the stitch marker. And I hope that made sense. I keep saying that, but I really do hope this makes sense. I kind of made up just pattern pretty randomly, but... <laughs> I just said pattern, didn't I? I meant pattern. All right, so now you're just gonna go into that stitch that we started with and just single crochet into it. And then you're going to remove this and then just put it back on the loop around your hook. Okay, so this is what it should look like. You should have like two legs attached now and it should look like that, okay? So for the body, it says, I'm gonna show you how in the video, um, how to understand, like how to attach them. So I put a note there so you guys can watch the video so that it makes sense. But for the next four rows, we're just gonna be doing single crochets around. So now that we have all these stitches around, we're just gonna go and do four rows of single crochets around. And I'm gonna do these all off camera because I think it'll be a lot easier for you guys to understand just to do the single crochets off camera. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how to decrease it and close it off. And then I'm gonna show you how to make the head, attach everything, and then make the tail and yeah, it's a long process. Sorry that this is just so confusing. <laughs> All right, so I finished the four rows. Pretty nice, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna be doing a, oh yeah, I'm, okay, I'm lost on this paper already. So single crochet, decrease it around. Okay, so we're just gonna do a single crochet. And then you're gonna go into the next stitch and do a decrease. Oop. Okay, and then you're just gonna keep repeating the rounds. So single crochet decrease around. Okay. 
I think my door is open. That's why it's so loud, but I'll close it again in a moment. I've gotten into my room like three times while filming this. I take I feel like filming takes like literally like not that long, but when I really do the filming, like it like I'm I always I whatever. <laughs> Alright, so once you finish that row, um at this point you can just remove your stitch marker. And this is where we're just gonna be doing decreases around. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And then once you're done with the decreases, which I'm not yet, but I want to be in a moment. Once you're done with the decreases, you can just take a band and yank it through everything. Slip knot it. Okay, maybe don't yank it, but like, you know what I mean. Pull it through, tie it off, be a human. All right. All right, recently, like, I've been hanging out with, <laughs> I've been hanging out with my, like, friends that, okay, that's pretty good. All right, so what I was saying is I've been hanging out with people that talk really weirdly. I mean, I think that's probably, like, rude, so I'm gonna say I'm really weird, and that's why I talk like that, so. But I was just on the phone with someone um that i'm friends with and whenever we're on the phone together we always make these weird jokes up so that's why i'm talking like that um yeah so once you have this interesting thing done it should have two legs and a body we're gonna make the head and then we're going to attach the head attach the arms and then i'm going to show you how to make the tail you're also going to attach the ears to the head so a lot of stuff to do but let's just keep going so we have the body finished i'm just going to throw that to the side for now and we're going to start on the head so this is the head little thing so and this i do have says in white and when to change to your main color so we're going to start with white and we're going to start with white by doing a magic ring of six stitches so go ahead and do that Also, I don't know if this is just me, but after I get, like, cheap Amazon bands and I use those for a while, I am not used to Rainbow Loom and how thick the bands are. I feel like, if, I don't know, it's weird, but. <laughs> Four, back in, five, and then last time, six. This is me talking to myself, I know. All right, so, you should have one, six bands around your hook, so one, two, three, four, five, and this is six. So for the next row, we're gonna be doing a single crochet, a single crochet increase, and we're gonna go ahead and do that in white. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So single crochet, back in, single crochet in the next stitch, and then increase in the next stitch. And then again. So single crochet, single crochet, Increase and then two single crochets. All right, and then you're to move the stitch marker up to the band around your hook. We're not gonna use white anymore. I don't, yeah, we're not gonna use any more white in this tutorial. I feel like every time I make a tutorial, if anyone actually does read the description, I feel like I should always put like a caution. There will be crunching in this video. Just for those people who are like sensitive to like the crunching noises. I actually don't, I don't think I know anyone that's sensitive to it. But I know there's people like out there that I don't know who probably are. So, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I should do that actually. I should put like a caution warning like, do not watch if you are sensitive to loud noises or loud crunching, crinkling, whatever stuff but yeah so let's continue with the head and we're gonna do another row of single crochet single crochet increase this time with the main color instead though so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that with the blue or whatever color you using Also, for this row, I know that you're not. it's not going to be an even row, so we're not going to be ending on an increase. We're just going to end on two single crochets. Okay? Mm 
And then for the next two rows, I'm just going to stay on camera because there's not that much. Oops, there's not like um, too many rows today. So we're just going to do two rows of single crochets around. And I'm just going to stay on camera to do that because it's honestly not that much. So yeah, just go ahead and do two rows of single crochets around. And if you need to, you can pause the video, obviously, because I'm going really quickly right now. I'm just going quickly. That's what I typically do when I'm doing single crochet rounds. I just go really quickly because it's just, like, it's not that hard for me. So just pause the video if I'm going too quickly right now. All right. So I'm just going to do my second row of single crochets around right now. I'm just going around still. I'm like loving this new background so much. I'm so glad this is going to be my new permanent background because then I don't really like have to actually change anything for the background. Like this is just my background now and it's really nice. So I'm happy. All right, so once you finish those two rows, move your stitch marker up to the band around your hook. It should look something like this. Now we're to be doing a single crochet decrease around. And during this row, like after some, some like in the middle of doing this row, we're gonna add some stuffing because otherwise it's gonna get too tiny to do adding stuffing after. So single crochet decrease around. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna do one more decrease and then I'm gonna stuff this because otherwise it's gonna get too tiny. So we're going to stuff and honestly, because of how itty bitty this head is, we're really gonna need like only like that much stuffing. I know, crazy, right? <sighs> like I'm struggling to even get this tiny amount that I have in here. All right, so that's what it should look like. I have to keep clicking my computer thing because my friend told me that me she told me that she ended up calling me around four o'clock and there's one more minute until four o'clock so all right but just do single crochet decrease continuing after that stuffing and for me i i'm ending on a single crochet and you should probably be ending on a single crochet too and then you can just remove this i don't know why put it back on my hook but i'm gonna just do like three decreases and then i'm gonna tie it off all right so just decrease until closed probably i know i said three and that's what i'm gonna do but you don't have to do three that's just what i'm doing because that's how many stitches i have left about to do and then go into that last stitch and take a band, pull it through everything, and just tie it off. And then I'm just going to tuck that band into the head. There you go. And that is your head. You can add a face if you want to. I didn't add a face, though, just because I know it's going to be on, like, a pencil or something. And if you're going to be using this pencil, I don't want the eyes or something or the mouth to fling off of it and then you lose it on the floor. So you can add a face if you want to. I just didn't because I thought it was just a little bit more simple that way. Um, but, yeah. So now I'm just going to take all the parts that we've made. And I'm going to show you how to make the tail at the very end just because right now we don't need the tail at this moment. But we're going to take those ears that we made. All right. So I'm just going to take the ears and I'm just going to slip knot them onto the head. And then I'll just tuck in the bands when I'm done from what the slip knot was. That's just how I attached everything to this. At the end, I just did a bunch of slip knots to attach everything. Now, also for the ears, if they kind of like scrunch in, just stretch them out. Um, and they will just kind of look more like monkey ears like that. See? All good. Okay. I'm just going to attach the one on the other side. I might do half of the attaching off camera at some point just because, like, 
I don't know who wants to see me attach for 20 minutes. Okay. Be careful when you're pulling the slip knots though, because I have break -in bands broken bands before while doing this. Yikes, my grammar is bad today. Okay. I'm just going to stretch this ear out a little bit. This looks a little bit better. I think I also have another monkey I made as I was like practicing. It was just like a sample monkey. Um, I think it was pink. I didn't really like it, so I think I threw that away. <laughs> All right, but this is what the head should look like. Now we're going to just slip knot the head onto the body. And I did not stuff the body or any of the legs just because it's we want it to be kind of flexible. And if we stuff it, it's not going to be able to flex and be able to like put it on the um, chopstick or whatever you're going to put it on. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with my hook where I want to attach it. And just hold on. Take a band and slip knot it on. And you're probably gonna need to slip knot it on at least twice, once in the front and once in the back. Otherwise it's gonna be like a wobbly head and that's just not appealing. So. I love this design so much. Also, I, like I said, the person that I'm collabing with this design, Busy Bee Crafting Corner, her channel will be in the description below if you want to go check that out. She is making a banana for the monkey because she didn't want to come up with a monkey design, but I think the banana will look so cute. So if you're going to be making the monkey, you might as well go make the banana because then you can make the monkey hold the banana. And also another thing about this design is that if you don't want to have it as like a pencil hugger, you don't have to have it as a pencil hugger. You don't have to attach the arms and legs or whatever. Um, and I'm actually going to be not showing you how to do that in this tutorial because I'm going to make a banana for it. I'm just going to make like one by like that person made by mommy or whatever. Her um, hook made on the hook banana. I'm just going to put it in between the hands and um, you don't really have to attach the arms and legs and make it a hugger if you don't want it to whatever you want i guess i'm sorry if that's confusing i'll tell you at the end but it should look like this and now we're going to attach the arms so for the arms what you're going to do is you're just going to go into that stitch and go into the somewhere across that stitch from that stitch that was there already and you take a band and just pull it through just like that and then we're going to attach it onto the monkey it's like right there and through a, any stitch on here that you want And you're probably going to want to attach, you would want to maybe do one more slip knot like in the back of it just or like the front of it or somewhere so that it stays on to the body a little bit better. That's what I did for the monkeys. So basically for everything you're attaching onto the body, for it to be more secure, you're just going to add another slip knot so that it stays on better onto the body and doesn't look like want to fall off or whatever. And you're just going to repeat that again. And I'll like always just tuck the bands in at the end so that they don't show. And that'll make it a lot better. All right, so this is what it should look like. Um, so now we're gonna need exactly 12 blue bands. I know it took more than 12, but for the tail, you can read the instructions in the description or you can just watch what I'm gonna do. For the tail, I'm going to wrap a band, a single band around my hook four times. So one, two, three and four so it's nice and tight like a cap band then we're going to take a band double it over so it's nice and tight 
and we're just going to chain one. And we're going to repeat that 10 more times. So here's our second doubled chain. This is two. So now we have to do it nine more times. Okay? Make sure to repeat that until you have 11 chains of the doubled bands. Okay, so this is three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going a little bit quicker now. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and now you're just going to take one band, not double it or anything, and just pull it through, and now you can just flip this over and attach it where you want the tail to go. Okay, and then you're just going to tuck that band in that you used to attach, and that's it. So you can leave it like this. I'm actually going to go ahead and make a banana right now, and I'm going to come back and do the outro. But if you want to attach the arms and the legs, all you have to do, I'm just going to show you a little example. I'm not going to actually slip on it, though, is you just find a stitch in one of the arms and one of the other arms. Take a single band, pull it through those two arms and the stitches you went into, and then just make a slip knot, okay? And then you're gonna pull that tight and then tuck that band into the one of the arms and you're gonna repeat that same thing for the legs if you want to, and then just slide it onto a pencil. I'm not gonna do that though because I want to make a little banana for my monkey. Oopsies. And that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and make the banana and i'll be right back when i am done with the banana and the overall design all right well that is it for the tutorial i finished putting on the little banana all i did was make the banana and then slip knot it onto the hand i absolutely love this design so much and i hope you guys love this design just as much as i do um he is she or she they are very cute and I think you should totally go ahead and make one of these if you are interested. This is my original design. And go check out Busy Bee Crafting Corner because this is our collab. So happy about that. My next collab will be with Maddie's Loomy Gloomy Tutorials. Very excited for that one. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. So subscribe if you're new here. Like, comment what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!